What's up guys, Truck Guru here, and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about action. So in order to get results, you first have to take an action. Uh, it goes without saying. So um, yeah, you don't have to be the first one to jump off the cliff, but at the end of the day, you have to be a pioneer. All of the guys before us, all the successful entrepreneurs, all the successful businessmen, women, they're all pioneers. They actually went out and acted upon a thought rather than sitting there waiting for something to just come to them. So if you guys know anything about anything, nothing is just given to you in this world. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, you just basically have to go out and take what you want. Um, and it starts with action. I can't stress to you enough, no results without action. And that means dreams are basically garbage. Um, sorry to tell you guys out there, all the dreamers. Uh, dreams mean nothing. Um, goals are what you want to have. You don't want to dream because, you know, we all dream that we're going to win the lottery, but is it going to happen? Probably not. So at the end of the day, what you want to do is you want to, you know, set goals and you want to smash goals. You want to elevate yourself and continue to climb until you get to where you're at. Um, obviously, if you are complacent and completely okay with being stagnant in your job, uh, working for somebody else or doing whatever, that's fine if you want to be comfortable and you want to live life right there when you can live right here. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, none of us are better than anybody else, but how we do things separates us from the rest of the pack. Do you think any of the other entrepreneurs out there like Jeff Bezos, you know, Mark Cuban, Elon Musk, and the list goes on and on, do you think that they sat there and thought about something and they didn't act upon it? No. So one thing that many of us need to understand is there's 24 hours in a day. Everybody knows that. It's, it's common sense. Um, what you do in those 24 hours is going to basically dictate your life and the outcome of all the fun things that you get to do and the money that you get to stack in your bank and all the things that your family gets to do after you're gone. So if you sleep for eight hours, that leaves 16 hours in your day. Um, most of us have to work for somebody and you got to go earn a paycheck in order to live. So in order to survive, you have to go work for another eight hours, let's say minimum of eight. Um, and then that's 16 hours gone. That leaves eight hours. So what you do with the additional eight hours is going to dictate basically the results. Um, Again, it's about the actions, guys, and I can't stress to you enough. Eight more hours, what are you going to do with them? Are you going to start a business? Are you going to get a side hustle? Are you going to go work for somebody else? I don't care if you make just $200. That's $200 than you made before without your side hustle. Guys, I've been asked to define the word success over and over again in my career, and the only thing that I can think about is success is repeated hustle. It's doing things that others aren't willing to do. It's going the extra mile. It's actually putting in more time. It's actually doing more work. Um, you don't have to be the best at something, but you just have to continue to repeat. Everybody knows you do something 28 times and it becomes a habit. At the end of the day, do you get up? Do you make your bed or do you leave it messy? Um, you know, my, I'm, I myself, I like a, a nice, clean, fitted bed, so I make my bed every morning after I crawl out of it. That's just a habit. Um, we all have different quirks and different habits and different things that kind of get us through, but at the end of the day, that helps me kind of get motivated, like, all right, I've already done something productive. I'm going to go on and do something else throughout the day in order to kind of fulfill you know, my, my goals. I set goals every day. I write them down on a notepad. It's very, very helpful to have a notepad. A few people out there don't. We are all hardwired to kind of think that once we graduate, um, we're just going to you know, get this magical inheritance from a relative we've never met, or we're going to win the lottery, or we're going to land this cush job. And then some of us just go, our program to just go to school, and then you accumulate all this debt. Yes, you get a degree, but um, it's 2021. Let's face it, degrees aren't as important as they were quite a few years ago. So what you want to do is you want to find what you want to do and you need to start on your path immediately. I know our parents emphasize, uh, you know, don't, don't grow up until you have to, you don't want to work until you have to. Uh, but we are all in such a freaking hurry to go out there and get jobs and accumulate debt and, and, and do these things to start our adulthood life. And at the end of the day, that's pretty stupid. They should teach us in school how to do taxes and basically all the things that we need in order to be successful in life, which they don't. And I feel is super important and they need to start. And I know I said this earlier, but one thing I can't stress to you enough is to have multiple streams of revenue. If you're working for eight hours a day and you're sleeping for eight, that leaves eight. I don't care if your side hustle, like I said before, nets you just $200. 
You take that $200, you save that $200, you put that $200 towards an investment, an opportunity, start another business with it, uh, figure out a way to become financially free. One of, one of my goals this year was to have anywhere from um, eight to 12 different streams of revenue, um, and I'm well on the way. I'm starting a whole other business. I've been devoting a lot of my time and efforts and, and energy into that. We're uh, obviously the Shrek Gurus thing. We're starting to ramp up for SEMA, taking on clients and uh, consulting for businesses and helping out. But again, I have figured out a way to try to get more out of my day. Um, I'm constantly on the phone. I'm constantly in emails, trying to figure out the social media algorithms and doing all these things. There is always a way to make money if you're not too lazy to go out and look for it. Two things that I want you to do is, A, I want you to figure out you know, what you want to do and then, you know, set up a game plan and a goal to get there and how to reach and obtain those goals. And another thing I want you to do is to figure out what motivates you, what inspires you, what gets you out of the bed in the morning. Um, obviously, if you look around, you can see inspiration of everything. Um, one of the things that kind of inspires a lot of people is jealousy, figuring out like, oh, why don't I have what they have? Why am I not successful like them? What are they doing differently than me? And why am I not in their shoes? It's probably because they've acted and they're getting results while you're just reacting to their actions and you're not getting anywhere. At the end of the day, you have to figure it out and you have to make moves in order to get to your goals. If you sit there and stagnant, complacent and everything else, you're absolutely never going to reach your goals. I can't stress to you enough how your actions dictate your results. And if you're not moving, you're never going to get the results you want, right? So everybody's got somebody that they go against, competition, whatever. Um, competition, it shouldn't fuel hate. It should fuel motivation. And at the end of the day, like I said, if I see something that somebody's doing different than me, I want to figure out how I can do it, but not only how I can do it, but how I can potentially do it better. Um, may not, it's not that I want to be better than them. It's just that I want to be different and I want to elevate my game. When I see people around me, that's why it's good to have people that are important to your success around you. People that motivate you, people that are doing a little bit better because every time you, you have a friend that is doing something epic or monumental or, or just killing it at something, you're going to want to, by nature, do the same thing and climb that same ladder, whether it's in the same path as your homie or whether it's your own. Regardless, if you hang out with dead weight, you're going to become dead weight. If you hang out with losers, you're going to become a loser. 99.9% .9 of the time, that's what's going to happen. So you need to figure out your friend group and then... Use that shit in order to succeed. Uh, you know, basically, um, elevate your friend group and you will be elevated. I promise you, I, I, I cannot stress to you enough. Uh, like I said before, you hang out with dead weight, you become dead weight. You hang around with successful people, you become successful. It just happens. That's the way it works. Um, basically, it, you know, you're only as good as the people you surround yourself around. And that's something I tell a lot of my friends, um, you know, around me. I got a lot of younger friends that basically, um, you know, they see my success, they see all my cool stuff, and they, how do you do that? You know, they joke around and this and that, but at the end of the day, um, what I try to tell them is we all have the same amount of hours in the day. Um, you know, you dick around or you go to parties and you drink, and I don't. I'm sitting here on my computer until, you know, 12 o'clock at night handling business or starting a business or drawing out plans. Again, guys, uh, the importance of just having a notepad. I, I keep one next to my bed. I, have, I think of ideas when I'm laying in bed, when I'm, you know, trying to sleep, so if you think of something, just grab the notepad, grab the pen, write it down, roll over and go back to bed. Um, I don't know how many times I've woken up in the middle of the night just to kind of write something down so I don't forget it in the morning. I've got, you know, note sections in my phone of just, you know, thoughts and inventions and ideas that I have. And then, um, you know, right now I'm choosing to act on one of them. Right now I, I'm several months into creating something. Um, you know, it's going to be a super successful project because I've compiled a great team. Uh, teamwork, it does make the dream work, guys. Uh, like I said, you know, find that inspiration, motivation, find people that are really good at certain things and put them in the right spots. It's filling the right holes in order to make the, the vision a reality. And again, um, actions speak louder than words. So if you're talking about it, nothing's actually happening. So quit running your freaking mouth. Go out there today. Start your dream. Start a new job. Start a new hustle. Grind. Set a goal. Succeed when you hit that goal and then make another one, a bigger one, and then get that goal done as well. I appreciate every single one of you guys who watch my videos, who share my content, who uh, you know reach out to me and ask me questions in regards to 
you know, some of the content that I'm putting out. Uh, I know a lot of you are looking forward to more content. I'm going to try to be a little bit better this year about getting on YouTube and social media and kind of, you know, hitting that uh, head on. Um, you know, like I said, I just got to stop being lazy. You know what I mean? There's always time in the day to do something, um, whether I take a little bit less time sleeping or whatever. I'm going to do it for you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any questions, reach out to me on social media, truck underscore guru on Instagram, or hit me up on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever. I'm always happy to help, always happy to take on projects, work with businesses, help consult. Uh, I want everybody to succeed. You know what I mean? There's room for all of us to eat. And uh, that's really important, guys. So I appreciate it. Until next time, this is Truck Guru. And uh, thank you, guys.